As more people move into the mid state, a plan to connect neighbors in, to transit in Donaldson is hitting a bit of a speed bump. Metro Council members delayed a vote on the plan that could transform that area. News Channel 5 Jason Lamb joins us to explain what concerns there are as Donaldson is on the rise. Jason. Well, that's right, and there already have been some big developments here in Donaldson. In fact, with this restaurant opening up, they put in this crosswalk to help out pedestrians. But this is really nothing compared to what neighbors here could see if the Donaldson transit oriented development is passed by the Metro Council. But some on the council already have some concerns. The outbound 517 Music City Star was right on time in Donaldson today, but facing yet another delay was a plan that could drastically transform this train station and several blocks surrounding it. We do have a few people in the queue. Council Member Cooper. Metro Council pushed off a vote on the Donaldson transit oriented development last week. One key concern is how part of the development, which would add apartments and other housing near the train station, would be paid for. I do feel like I'm being painted a little bit with the, uh, the, the, the wide brush that of how TIF was used in the past. TIF, or tax increment financing, has been criticized in the past. An MDHA fund first established to improve blighted city areas, used instead to give tax breaks to corporations who choose to move downtown. It's also part of how the Donaldson Transit Development will be funded, and Councilman John Cooper brought that up last week. This is the wrong role for MDHA in Nashville. Just because MDHA can give money away, they've been promoted into a role they really shouldn't have. But Councilman Jeff Syracuse, who represents Donaldson, says this use of TIF money wouldn't be giving tax breaks to big corporations. It'd be used in part to create affordable housing in Donaldson. Any of the criticisms about how TIF has been used in the past, that is not how we're doing it in Donaldson. This is about Donaldson. This is about setting the stage for how we grow sustainably uh, around transit infrastructure. Syracuse says he hopes a meeting next week can answer more questions council members have to help keep a plan that could transform Donaldson on track. Now, Councilman Cooper said last week he doesn't think that people here in Donaldson actually want the transit oriented development project that only developers want it. But Syracuse said today in response, he doesn't think that's true. He says he lives here in this neighborhood and he says he knows what neighbors here want. Live in Donaldson tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.